ਜਸ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਦੇਖਦੇ ਹੋਏ ਸਾਰੇ ਦਰਸ਼ਕਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਮੇਰੇ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਪਿਆਰ ਭਰੀ ਸਤਿ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਸਵਾਗਤ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਅੱਜ ਦਾ ਮੁੱਦਾ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਮੈਂ ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਹੋਸਟ ਆਸ਼ਮਿਤਾ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਇਸ ਸ਼ਾਮ ਦੇ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਵਾਗਤ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਜਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਕੱਲ ਵੀ ਦੱਸਿਆ ਸੀ ਕਿ ਕਾਫੀ ਵੱਡੀ ਡਿਵੈਲਪਮੈਂਟਸ ਪਿਛਲੇ ਕੁਝ ਦਿਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਹੋਈਆਂ ਭਾਵੇਂ ਉਹ ਗਲੋਬਲ ਖਬਰਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਹੋਏ ਨੈਸ਼ਨਲ ਲੈਵਲ ਤੇ ਲੋਕਲ ਲੈਵਲ ਤੇ ਕੈਲੀਫੋਰਨੀਆ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਹਜੇ ਵੀ ਜੋ ਸਟੋਰੀ ਅਸੀਂ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਕੱਲ ਪੇਸ਼ ਕੀਤੀ ਸੀ ਐਕਸਟ੍ਰੀਮ ਵੈਦਰ ਤੇ ਫਲੱਡਿੰਗ ਨੂੰ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਹੋਰ ਖਬਰਾਂ ਇਹਦੇ ਬਾਰੇ ਸੁਣਨ ਨੂੰ ਮਿਲ ਰਹੀਆਂ ਫਰੈਜ਼ਨੋ ਅਤੇ ਸੈਂਟਰਲ ਵੈਲੀ ਦੇ ਵੱਖ-ਵੱਖ ਸ਼ਹਿਰਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਐਕਸਟ੍ਰੀਮ ਫਲੱਡਿੰਗ ਅਤੇ ਸੜਕਾਂ ਐਂਡ ਹਾਈਵੇਜ਼ ਉੱਤੇ ਰੁਕਾਵਟ ਪਾਈ ਜਾ ਰਹੀ ਹੈ ਇੰਨੀ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਫਲੱਡਿੰਗ ਹੋ ਚੁੱਕੀ ਹੈ ਹਾਈ ਵਿੰਡਸ ਜਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਕੱਲ ਵੀ ਦੱਸ ਰਹੀ ਸੀ 60 70 ਮਾਲ ਪਰ ਆਵਰ ਵਿੰਡਸ ਐਕਸਪੈਕਟਿਡ ਹੈਗੀਆਂ ਹੋਰ ਜਾਣਾ ਵੀ ਰਿਪੋਰਟਡ ਹੈਗੀਆਂ ਦੈਟ ਹੋਰ ਜਾਣਾ ਗਈਆਂ ਬਟ ਸਾਡੀ ਸਿਰਫ ਇਹੀ ਬੇਨਤੀ ਹੈ ਅਗਰ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਕੈਲੀਫੋਰਨੀਆ ਨਿਆ ਸੈਂਟਰਲ ਵੈਲੀ ਆ ਬੇ ਏਰੀਆ ਤੋਂ ਵੇਖ ਰਹੇ ਹੋ ਪਲੀਜ਼ ਸਟੇ ਸੇਫ ਅਮ ਨੈਸ਼ਨਲ ਲੈਵਲ ਤੇ ਯੂਨਾਈਟਿਡ ਸਟੇਟਸ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਨਵੀਂ ਕਾਂਗਰਸ ਜੋ ਕਿ ਰਿਪਬਲਿਕਨ ਕੰਟਰੋਲਡ ਕਾਂਗਰਸ ਹੈਗੀ ਫਾਈਨਲੀ ਆਪ ਦੇ ਕੰਮ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਲੱਗ ਚੁੱਕੀ ਹੈ 15 ਵਾਰੀ ਵੋਟ ਪਾਣ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਫਾਈਨਲੀ ਰਿਪਬਲਿਕਨ ਕੇਵਨ ਮੈਕਾਰਥੀ ਨੂੰ ਹਾਊਸ ਸਪੀਕਰ ਬਣਾਇਆ ਗਿਆ and one of the first orders of business by this republican controlled congress kevin mccarthy the caucus at the conference wallon ehi siga ki house ethics committee nu uh, bilkul uh, lechar kita jaye bilkul um jida kende na gut kita jaye angrezi vich keha janda hai sare ohna di jo ਪਾਵਰ ਸੀਗੀ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਖਤਮ ਕੀਤਾ ਜਾਏ ਐਂਡ ਆਫ ਕੋਰਸ ਸਵਾਲ ਇਹੀ ਉੱਠਦੇ ਆ ਕਿ ਰਿਪਬਲਿਕਨ ਕਾਨਫਰੈਂਸ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਹਾਊਸ ਐਥਿਕਸ ਕਮੇਟੀ ਨੂੰ ਕਿਉਂ ਬੇਬਸ ਕੀਤਾ ਜਾ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਕਿਉਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਪਾਵਰਲੈਸ ਬਣਾਇਆ ਜਾ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਇਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਕਿ ਹਾਊਸ ਰਿਪਬਲਿਕਨਸ ਇਹ ਨਹੀਂ ਚਾਹੁੰਦੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਉੱਤੇ ਹਾਊਸ ਐਥਿਕਸ ਕਮੇਟੀ ਜੋ ਕਿ ਰੂਲਸ ਰੈਗੂਲੇਸ਼ਨਸ ਅਤੇ ਆਮ ਕਾਇਦੇ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕਾਂਗਰਸ ਮੈਂਬਰਸ ਨੂੰ ਰੱਖਦੀ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਹਾਊਸ ਰਿਪਬਲਿਕਨਸ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਉੱਤੇ ਕਾਫੀ ਸਵਾਲ ਉੱਠ ਰਹੇ ਜਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਜੋਰਜ ਸੈਂਟੋਸ ਬਾਰੇ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਦੱਸਿਆ ਸੀ ਜੋ ਕਿ ਇੱਕ ਨਵੇਂ ਇਲੈਕਟਿਡ ਕਾਂਗਰਸਮੈਨ ਹੈਗੇ ਨਿਊਯਾਰਕ ਤੋਂ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਨੇ ਕਾਫੀ ਝੂਠ ਆਪ ਦੇ ਬੈਕਗ੍ਰਾਉਂਡ ਪ੍ਰੋਫੈਸ਼ਨ ਅਤੇ ਕੈਂਪੇਨ ਫੰਡਿੰਗ ਬਾਰੇ ਬੋਲੇ ਇਹੋ ਜੀ ਚੀਜ਼ਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਇਨਵੈਸਟੀਗੇਟ ਨਾ ਕੀਤਾ ਜਾਏ ਹਾਊਸ ਐਥਿਕਸ ਕਮੇਟੀ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਕਿਉਂ ਇਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਇਸ ਕਮੇਟੀ ਨੂੰ ਆਮ ਗਟ ਕੀਤਾ ਜਾ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਇਹੋ ਜੇ ਆਮ ਵਕ ਵਕ ਟੌਪਿਕਸ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਕੱਲ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਇੱਕ ਸਪੈਸ਼ਲ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਪੇਸ਼ ਕਰਾਂਗੇ ਇਸ ਨਵੀਂ ਕਾਂਗਰਸ ਨੂੰ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਦੋਨੋਂ ਸਾਈਡਸ ਦੀ ਡਿਸਕਸ਼ਨ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਸ਼ੇਅਰ ਕਰਾਂਗੇ ਬਟ ਅੱਜ ਦੇ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਅਸੀਂ ਇੱਕ ਇਹੋ ਜੇ ਰੂਮਰ ਨੂੰ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਪੇਸ਼ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਹਾਂ ਜੋ ਕਾਫੀ ਦੇਰ ਤੋਂ ਸਰਕੂਲੇਟ ਹੋ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਬਟ ਪਿਛਲੇ ਆਮ 5-6 ਦਿਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਬਾਰ-ਬਾਰ ਇਹ ਖਬਰ ਕੁਝ ਮੀਡੀਆ ਆਊਟਲੈਟਸ ਰਿਪੋਰਟ ਕਰ ਰਹੀ ਹੈ ਦੈਟ ਵਲਾਡੀਮੀਰ ਪੂਟਿਨ is terminally ill with cancer ke cancer di diagnosis kafi der to putin nu mili hui hai ate western dawaiyan de naal american dawaiyan de naal oh survive kar reha hai but lagda nahi ke ohde kol jyada time reh gaya and once again this rumor this uh, report is coming from the ukrainian military intelligence so inu ਕਿੰਨਾ ਕੁ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਟਰਸਟ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਇਹ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਉੱਤੇ ਹੈ ਹਲੇ ਤੱਕ ਕੋਈ ਮੇਨ ਸਟ੍ਰੀਮ ਮੀਡੀਆ ਇਹਨੂੰ ਰਿਪੋਰਟ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰ ਰਹੀ ਅੱਜ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਅਸੀਂ ਰਸ਼ੀਅਨ ਵਾਰ ਜੋ ਕਿ ਯੂਕਰੇਨ ਦੇ ਖਿਲਾਫ
ਨੂੰ ਇੱਕ ਕਿਸਮ ਦਾ ਬਚਾ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਰਸ਼ੀਅਨ ਫੋਰਸਿਸ ਅਤੇ ਰਸ਼ੀਅਨ ਅਗਰੈਸ਼ਨ ਤੋਂ ਕਿ ਅਗਰ ਯੂਕਰੇਨ ਡਿੱਗਦਾ ਹੈ ਦੈਨ ਰਸ਼ੀਆ ਆਮ ਹੋਰ ਕਿਥੇ ਤੱਕ ਅੱਗੇ ਜਾਊਗਾ ਐਂਡ ਵਾਂਸ ਅਗੇਨ ਇਨ ਖਬਰਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਵਿਚਾਲੇ ਇਹ ਵੀ ਸੁਣਨ ਨੂੰ ਮਿਲ ਰਿਹਾ ਬਾਰ-ਬਾਰ ਦੈਟ ਪ੍ਰੈਜ਼ ਪੂਟਿਨ ਇਜ਼ terminally ill with cancer and parkinson's disease in fact recently a report kita gaya that putin um syria to dig gaya si and um inni buri tarah dig gaya the security forces nu uh odi help karni pai that um not only does he have cancer hor odi bimariyan onnu bilkul um tusi keh lo sick ate unwell um uh, pai ja rahi hai and of course is is sari story de vich uh, jado is source di gal aandi hai ki is source kis uh, um you know area to a eh, reporting ho rahi hai kai loki kende ki putin di aap di security forces chup chup ke eh, reports agge phaila rahi hai that eh, which sachai hai but of course media nu ta eh, reports ukrainian intelligence to hi sunan nu mil rahi hai and some of the reports tell us ke invasion the time to lake pichle saal to lake putin bimar hai and agar eh, western dawaiyan na hundiyan ke shayad oh hale tak bhi na survive karda you know jadon assi sources di gal karde ha is war de vich is modern jung de vich um jinik on the ground fighting tusi vekh rahe ho oh de um, barabar ਇਹੋ ਜੇ ਇੱਕ ਵਾਰ ਆਫ ਵਰਡਸ ਅਸੀਂ ਵੇਖ ਰਹੇ ਹਾਂ ਨੈਰੇਟਿਵਸ ਭਾਵੇਂ ਉਹ ਵੈਸਟਰਨ ਨੈਰੇਟਿਵ ਹੋਵੇ ਕਿ ਪੂਟਿਨ ਅਤੇ ਰਸ਼ੀਅਨ ਮਿਲਟਰੀ ਵੀਕ ਹੈ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਤੋਂ ਲੜਿਆ ਨਹੀਂ ਜਾ ਰਿਹਾ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਮੋਰਲ ਵੀਕ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਰਸ਼ੀਆ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਇਸ ਜੰਗ ਲਈ ਸਪੋਰਟ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈਗੀ ਦੂਜੇ ਬੰਨੋ ਲੇਕਿਨ ਰਸ਼ੀਆ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਮੀਡੀਆ ਨੂੰ ਬੰਦ ਕੀਤਾ ਗਿਆ ਹੈ ਸੋਸ਼ਲ ਮੀਡੀਆ ਉੱਤੇ ਰੁਕਾਵਟ ਪਾਈ ਗਈ ਹੈ ਫੇਸਬੁੱਕ ਐਟਸੈਟਰਾ ਇਹੋ ਜਿਹੀ ਚੀਜ਼ਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਬੈਨ ਕੀਤਾ ਗਿਆ ਹੈ ਆਮ ਉੱਥੇ ਦੇ ਲੋਕੀ ਇਸ ਵਾਰ ਨੂੰ ਸਪੋਰਟ ਕਰਦੇ ਆ ਪੂਟਿਨ ਨੂੰ ਸਪੋਰਟ ਕਰਦੇ ਇਹੋ ਜਿਹੀ ਚੀਜ਼ਾਂ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਅਕਸਰ ਸੁਣਨ ਨੂੰ ਨਹੀਂ ਮਿਲਦੀਆਂ ਸੋ ਇਟਸ ਰੀਅਲੀ ਇੰਟਰਸਟਿੰਗ ਵਨ ਮੀ ਥਿੰਕ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਕਿ ਕਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਇਸ ਵਾਰ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਦੋ ਵੱਖਰੇ ਨੈਰੇਟਿਵਸ ਪਲੇ ਆਊਟ ਹੋ ਰਹੇ ਆ ਆਫ ਕੋਰਸ ਅਸੀਂ ਇੱਥੇ ਅਮਰੀਕਾ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਬੈਠੇ ਆ ਜਾਂ ਯੂਕੇ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਵੀ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਵੇਖ ਰਹੇ ਹੋ ਇਹ ਅਸੀਂ ਵੈਸਟਰਨ ਮੀਡੀਆ ਦਾ ਇੱਕ ਨੈਰੇਟਿਵ ਵੇਖ ਰਹੇ ਆ ਬਟ ਇਸ ਨੈਰੇਟਿਵ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਹਲੇ ਵੀ ਮੇਨ ਸਟ੍ਰੀਮ ਮੀਡੀਆ ਨੇ ਇਹ ਨਹੀਂ ਰਿਪੋਰਟ ਅਫੀਸ਼ੀਅਲੀ ਕੀਤਾ ਕਿ ਪੂਟਿਨ ਬਿਮਾਰ ਹੈ ਸ਼ਾਇਦ ਇਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਬਿਕਾਜ਼ ਇਹ ਸਟੋਰੀ ਹਲੇ ਤੱਕ ਪੱਕੀ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਕਨਫਰਮ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੋਈ ਐਂਡ ਸ਼ਾਇਦ ਇਹ ਸਟੋਰੀ ਕਦੀ ਕਨਫਰਮ ਹੋਈ ਵੀ ਨਾ ਬਿਕਾਜ਼ ਜਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਹੁਣੇ ਦੱਸ ਰਹੇ ਸੀ ਕਿ ਪੂਟਿਨ ਨੇ ਰਸ਼ੀਆ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਾਰੀ ਮੀਡੀਆ ਨੂੰ ਇੱਕ ਕਿਸਮ ਦੀ ਫ੍ਰੀ ਮੀਡੀਆ ਉੱਤੇ ਰੁਕਾਵਟ ਪਾਈ ਹੋਈ ਹੈ ਸੋਸ਼ਲ ਮੀਡੀਆ ਨੂੰ ਬੈਨ ਕੀਤਾ ਗਿਆ ਹੈ ਸੋ ਇਹੋ ਜੀ ਖਬਰਾਂ ਸ਼ਾਇਦ ਉਥੋਂ ਨਿਕਲਣ ਵੀ ਨਾ ਬਟ at the end of the day it's important for us to once again revisit the story um pavin to see pichle saal to is jang bare sunde aa rahe ho um kadi kabar innu ignore karna bahut easy ho janda hai because koi lagda nahi navi updates aa rahi hain but jo ukrainian loki han um jo jinna da mulk ek ground zero baneya hoya hai is invasion de layi is conflict nu la ke um una to sunna bahut zaruri hai so mainu ਬਹੁਤ ਖੁਸ਼ੀ ਹੋ ਰਹੀ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਅੱਜ ਸ਼ਾਮ ਦੇ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਯੂਕਰੇਨ ਕੀਐਵ ਤੋਂ ਸਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਵਿਊਅਰਸ ਗੈਸਟਸ ਜੁੜਨਗੇ ਵਾਸ਼ਿੰਗਟਨ ਡੀਸੀ ਤੋਂ ਗੈਸਟਸ ਜੁੜਨਗੇ ਇੱਥੇ ਇੱਕ ਛੋਟੀ ਜੀ ਬ੍ਰੇਕ ਲੈਣ ਦਾ ਸਮਾਂ ਆ ਗਿਆ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਵੀ ਇਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਜੁੜੇ ਰਹੋ ਮਿਲਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਬ੍ਰੇਕ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਬ੍ਰੇਕ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਸਵਾਗਤ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਵੇਖ ਰਹੇ ਹੋ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਅੱਜ ਦਾ ਮੁੱਦਾ ਬਹੁਤ ਹੀ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਟ ਮੁੱਦਾ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਹਾਜ਼ਰ ਹੋਇਆ ਇਹ ਔਨ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਕਨਫਲਿਕਟ ਰਸ਼ੀਆ ਯੂਕਰੇਨ ਵਾਰ ਦੀ ਜੋ ਚੱਲਦੀ ਆ ਰਹੀ ਆਲਮੋਸਟ ਸਾਲ ਹੋ ਚੱਲਿਆ ਇਸ ਕਨਫਲਿਕਟ ਨੂੰ ਇਸ ਜੰਗ ਨੂੰ ਤੇ ਹਲੇ ਵੀ ਲੱਗਦਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਕੋਈ ਹੱਲ ਕੋਈ ਰੈਜ਼ੋਲੂਸ਼ਨ
Welcome to all three of you. Good evening, good afternoon. Welcome to our program. Uh, Gurcharan Singh Ji, of course, uh, our viewers are very familiar with you. You always join us, formerly with the World Bank. Today, you have brought on two of um, your former Ukrainian colleagues' contacts. Joining us is Karina Beasley, who was at the World Bank with you, and um, a really important, uh, I would say, a special guest for our viewers tonight is Olga Chiknova Pichnikova, excuse me, sorry about that, joining us from Kiev, Ukraine. Um, it's so good to have all three of you. Uh, first of all, Karina, Olga, we from our viewers side um, from you know folks all over the world that are listening we extend our heartfelt um, condolences uh, over the tragedy that has struck your country your people um, and i hope in today's program we can learn a little bit more about the experiences um, that are being felt on the ground amongst the ukrainian population but uh, gujaranji i'd like to start with you since we usually talk about this story, we've been talking about it for almost a year now since the war started. Um, you know, when we kind of uh, consider what's taken place in this last year in this conflict, um, Gurcharanji, you know, as someone who is a friend of the Ukrainian people but is on the outside, how would you say that the Ukrainian military and its civilians have defied expectations around the world um, when it comes to their fight against Russia? So, Ashmita, you, as you know, we were talking about uh, it's going to be one year for this war. And in fact, this war was started in 2014, if you, eight years back. Yep. Eight years back, this was started by Don Boss. The pro-Russians pro have created some problem for their own Ukrainian people, Ukrainian government. And that time there was a problem. Then later on, there were cyber issues. There were other incidents. So I would say then in by February 2022, Putin has come up with full-scale invasion. He tried to, really he came openly to invade Ukraine. So when I talk to Ukrainian, they are heroes, they are ladies who are heroines over there. And I could see my own colleague, Olga, sitting there in Kiev. I mean, I could, I really, from my heart, I feel that they are the brave ladies and they don't want to budge in any way. I was talking to Olga a couple of times and I told her, why can't you come in this, this side? She said, Guru, no, until the war is not over, I'm not going to come. Until the independence and everything is done, then she will join us to come sometime to America. But she didn't want to. So I, I would say that we are sitting with the brave ladies here, Absolutely. brave Ukrainian. And I always say, Slava Ukraina. Um, Gurchenji, I, I think you echo a sentiment that is uh, f being felt widely, certainly around the United States, but throughout the world um, when it comes to the support and the solidarity that most individuals feel with the people of Ukraine, the men and the women, the military mm -hmm. and the civilians who, like Olga and like Karina, you were telling me about your family who has stayed behind to fight on the front lines, um, the, the extreme heroism. Um, Olga, I'd love to hear some, you know, introductory remarks from you in this regard. So you have been in Kiev, which has been such a central part of the fighting from the start of this conflict. Yeah. Tell us about that. Uh, yes, I reminded Kiev through entire uh, period of active invasion. I didn't leave Kiev for even any day, wow. one day. And actually, I'm, I live in Kiev all my life, and this is my beloved city, and I don't need to leave it even in bad times. I didn't leave it in good times, and I don't want to leave it in bad times. Uh, so I had didn't consider any kind of options to leave Kiev in this period of time because city requires its citizens 
Absolutely. to protect it in the e if if that will be a necessity and that necessity could appear at the beginning of the conflict active phase of conflict and actually we were ready to to make uh, molotov cocktails uh, we had everything in our apartments for doing that wow so it's some kind of experience you know uh, there is a phrase of uh, Nietzsche philosopher uh, who said that what doesn't kill me makes me stronger and uh, entire U all Ukrainians who remain in the country first of all uh, became very strong persons absolutely in this conflict uh, um, and, and it's, it's some kind of proud I, I proud for Ukraine I proud for Ukrainians for people um, this this feeling of, of pride that you're talking about, certainly it's felt by Ukrainians all over the world. Karina Beasley, um, even though you've lived in the United States for a long, long time now, you still have friends, family back home in Ukraine. Um, how do you feel that Ukrainians outside of the country um, have been experiencing this invasion, uh, especially when you talk to you know your, your friends back home, um, your relatives? How how has the experience been for you being on this side of the conflict? It's um, this side or that side. It's still the same um, Ukrainian yeah. spirit, and everybody in. Uh, in Ukraine and outside Ukraine has no doubts that the victory will be on Ukrainian side. Sooner or later, we will win as Ukrainians uh, fighting for our own borders, our own land and territory, and putting into this fight as much help as we could from a Western world and from within the families itself, from the people who are taking um the weapons and going on the front line and leaving their uh, women behind waiting for them there is no doubt there will be victory on ukrainian side every ukrainian and even not ukrainian is very confident in this statement um you know you, you you talk about victory and certainly when this uh, invasion first began, um, this current invasion uh, in February of last year, um, the world was not sure how it would play out. And shortly thereafter, it was kind of understood that this would be a war of attrition, that it would be a war that both sides would see who can last longer. Um, but certainly the Western powers of the world have stood steadfastly behind Ukraine. And I kind of want to talk a little bit about that, especially as it plays into the Russian strategy. We're going to stop for a quick commercial break here. I request our guests, please don't go anywhere. I have a lot of questions for all of you viewers. To see ਵੀ ਕਿਥੇ ਨਾ ਜਾਓ ਇਸ ਜੰਗ ਨੂੰ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਜਿਹਨੂੰ ਆਲਮੋਸਟ ਇੱਕ ਸਾਲ ਹੋਣ ਜਾ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਅਸੀਂ ਆਉਣ ਵਾਲੇ ਸਮੇਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕੀ ਐਕਸਪੈਕਟ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਯੂਕਰੇਨੀਅਨਸ ਤੋਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਅੱਜ ਗੱਲ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਹਾਂ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਵੀ ਇਸ ਗੱਲ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਸ਼ਾਮਿਲ ਹੋ ਇਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਜੁੜੇ ਰਹੋ ਬ੍ਰੇਕ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਮੋਰ ਹਾਜ਼ਰ ਹਾਂ ਅੱਜ ਦੀ ਡੇਟ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਮਾਡਰਨ ਟਾਈਮਸ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਆਰਗੂਬਲੀ ਸਭ ਤੋਂ ਵੱਡੀ ਕਨਫਲਿਕਟ ਜੋ ਕਿ ਪਲੇ ਆਊਟ ਹੋ ਰਹੀ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਰਸ਼ੀਆ ਦਾ ਇਨਵੇਜ਼ਨ ਯੂਕਰੇਨ ਨੂੰ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਵੇਖ ਰਹੇ ਹਾਂ ਪਿਛਲੇ ਸਾਲ ਤੋਂ ਇਹ ਜੰਗ ਜਾਰੀ ਹੈ ਇਸ ਜੰਗ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਦੋਂ ਇਹ ਪਹਿਲੇ ਪਹਿਲੇ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਹੋਈ ਸੀ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਦੀ ਇਹ ਵੀ ਕੁਝ ਫਿਕਰਾਂ ਸੀਗੀਆਂ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਵਰਲਡ ਵਾਰ 3 ਤਾਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਬਣ ਜਾਊਗੀ ਕਿ ਰਸ਼ੀਆ ਇੱਕ ਪ੍ਰੋਕਸੀ ਵਾਰ ਲੜ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਵੈਸਟਰਨ ਪਾਵਰਸ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਯੂਕਰੇਨ ਨੂੰ ਇਸਤੇਮਾਲ ਕਰਕੇ ਕਿ ਇਹਦਾ ਅੰਤ ਕੀ ਹੋਏਗਾ ਨਿਊਕਲੀਅਰ ਵੈਪਨਸ ਦੀ ਵੀ ਗੱਲ ਹੋਈ ਸੀ ਹੋਰ ਇਹੋ ਜੀ ਅਫਵਾਹਾਂ ਕਾਫੀ ਸੁਣਨ ਨੂੰ ਮਿਲੀਆਂ ਬਟ ਅੱਜ ਅਸੀਂ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਇੱਕ ਵਾਰੀ ਫਿਰ ਇਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਪੇਸ਼ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਹਾਂ ਕਿ ਇੱਕ ਨਵਾਂ ਰੂਮਰ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਦੱਸਦਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਸ਼ਾਇਦ ਪੂਟਿਨ ਨੂੰ ਕੈਂਸਰ ਹੋਵੇ ਤੇ ਉਹਦੇ ਦਿਨ ਕੁਝ ਹੀ ਰਹਿ ਗਏ ਹੈ ਪਰ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਪਹਿਲੇ ਉਸ ਰੂਮਰ ਦੀ ਗੱਲ ਕਰਨ ਤੋਂ ਪਹਿਲੇ ਅੱਜ ਸਾਡ ਨਾਲ ਜੁੜੇ ਹਨ ਕੁਝ ਇਹੋ ਜਿਹੇ ਗੈਸਟ ਜੋ ਯੂਕਰੇਨ ਦੀ ਔਨ ਦਾ ਗਰਾਊਂਡ ਕੰਡੀਸ਼ਨਸ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਦੱਸ ਰਹੇ ਕਿ ਇਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਉਹ ਸਿਵਿਲੀਅਨਸ ਉਹ ਮਿਲਟਰੀ ਸਾਲ ਤੋਂ ਦੁਨੀਆ ਦੀ ਇੱਕ ਵੱਡੀ ਮਿਲਟਰੀ ਪਾਵਰ ਨੂੰ ਰੋਕ ਕੇ ਆਪ ਦੀ ਆਈਡੈਂਟੀਟੀ ਨੂੰ ਆਪ ਦੀ ਵਿਰਾਸਤ ਨੂੰ ਸਾਂਭ ਰਹੀ ਹੈ ਆਪ ਦੇ ਲੈਂਡ ਨੂੰ ਬਚਾ ਰਹੀ ਹੈ please join me in welcoming once again our guests for this evening gurjan singh ji um karina beasley and olga pichnikova 
I knew I would get it right at some point in this program. Thank you so, so much, all of you, for joining us, especially you, Olga. We know with the time difference and everything that is happening in Kiev right now um, that it's uh, not the easiest thing to jump on for an interview, so we appreciate your time. And once again, we appreciate what your people have done to protect their land, um, defying all expectations. And perhaps that's one of the reasons the West has so um, strongly stood in support of Ukraine and its freedom, its right to exist as a country and as an independent people. Recently, Vladimir yeah. Putin um, proposed a ceasefire, um, a, uh, you know, supposed show of good faith. Um, some news outlets and intelligence reports claimed that this was Putin's attempt to divide the West, uh, to perhaps break away some of the support that Ukraine has um, from whether it's Europe, England, America, what have you. Um, I guess, Karina, I'll start with you since you are so close to the seat of power here in uh, the United States in D.C. Um, how do you feel that Putin's attempt to call for a ceasefire was received um, amongst Western nations uh, recently? It's like a trick. Let us cease fire, yes, but in reality it has not been seized. Um, it was a fake ceasefire and uh, the war continued. Um, it was just an excuse um, to find a way um, to pacify the situation while uh, regular people kept hearing the sirens and the bombs were still uh, flying over different peaceful cities in Ukraine. And uh, the ceasefire was just a slogan which, uh, which meant nothing, in my opinion, while in reality ceasefire should be treated totally differently. If it is ceasefire, it's ceasefire as the end of the war, as the victory, not as the fake ceasefire on a special occasion. Like, right. like Christmas. Um, Olga, you know, uh, Putin also said that in uh, honor of the Orthodox Christmas, um, that there would be a pause in the uh, fighting. Um, what, what, was this truly the case on the ground? Um, and tell us the difference between some of the um, uh, differences in approach that you've seen from the Russian military versus Ukrainian military when it comes to things like a ceasefire? Uh, first of all, we don't believe Russians in anything. Any of their statements about ceasefire, about uh, negotiations, about anything, we don't believe in anything because the only thing they need uh, to win time to regroup their forces and to uh, enforce their uh, activities again. And uh, there is only routine reasons for that, for, for those statements from Russian side. Uh, from our side, yes, we are ready to talk about anything, but after uh, getting back our borders, of 1991 and after all kind of compensation or damage and uh, that's primarily thing primarily condition for any kind of negotiation ceasefire or anything else uh, meanwhile we will protect our land we will fight as much as we can and we will release our our land it's our primary primary goal, uh, and we don't need anything else. Um, Olga, yeah, actually, we need weapon, of course. Uh, but aside from that, uh, it's we don't trust main statement that no one here trusts in Russian statements about anything. Um, Olga, we're talking about trust, right? And, and, and you know, you mentioned a little bit before we started recording the program. 
um, about another statement um, that is hard to trust at the moment. Um, this is kind of the, the, the central focus of our show this evening, and I'm so glad that we have you joining us to talk about this. But there are rumors um, from the Ukrainian military intelligence side that claim that Vladimir Putin may be sick and dying uh, of terminal cancer. Recently, there were reports that he fell five stories. Um, that he needed the help of his security guards to help him up. Um, but the cancer story, although it is being reported by some media, The Mirror in the UK, Yahoo News here in the US, it has not been officially reported by any mainstream media. Um, Olga, I'll start with you uh, once again, since you're the closest um, uh, to ground zero on this. What are you hearing about Putin's health claims, especially in regards to this terminal cancer that he may or may not have? Actually, uh, if you talk about those kind of rumors, we hear the same here and uh, from different sources. But again, those are still rumors. There is no any kind of official statements or any, any information of from uh, very trustful sources, I would say. Uh, all of that are gossips, talkings, and rumors, nothing more. Uh, and that is uh, right of any person uh, to believe in this information or do not do, do, not do this. Aside, I don't know what to add else. Um, Karina, uh, when we talk about these... When we talk about these kind of rumors, um, you know, how do you feel that this adds to um, perhaps a narrative that is being created, whether it's by Ukrainian officials or even Western powers, to make Russia and to make Vladimir Putin seem weak in this ongoing conflict? How do you feel this adds to that? Karina? Um, sorry, I kind of uh, thought about something else while we were talking, um, and I missed the question. Maybe if we could repeat that again, please. Sure, sure. How do you feel that these kind of rumors that perhaps claim that there's something um, seriously wrong with Vladimir Putin's health, um, or even things that we hear about the Russian military um, taking great losses, losing morale, how do you think all of these rumors um, kind of play into a narrative uh, put out by the West or by Ukraine to, to make Russia and Vladimir Putin seem weak? Yeah, it's all wishful thinking. We, the world is full of rumors. We all would like to believe um, in uh, some uh, better future towards the end of the war. And these rumors are created to uh, facilitate uh, the end of the war. However, we should rely on the facts, not on the rumors. Mm -hmm. And the facts are um, number of people killed. The facts are um, how long the war lasts by now. The facts are how many people uh, are still fighting and uh, how much weapons have been already delivered to Ukraine mm -hmm. and whether those weapons are sufficient to, to approach the, the victory. And uh, the rumors will be always there. Uh, we can come up with our own rumors. And uh, whether the rumor is true or not, it, um, it depends on the specific facts from the authorities. Right. Um, you mentioned, uh, you know, weapons and um, the lives lost. Um, Gurchenji, I'd like to go with you because, you know, you routinely work with American politicians in D.C. And this is a very contentious issue that keeps coming up, especially with a new Congress now um, taking over the House. Uh, you know, how do you feel as someone who does have close ties to so many Ukrainians? Um, how do you feel that the American government should continue? Continue to support Ukraine um, with specifically military weapons and military training? I think uh, as uh, President Zelensky was here just a couple of days back and he has addressed to Congress and he was very candid, candid to tell Americans, first of all he said he is thankful to each and every American 
he didn't say only to the politician or someone he said each and every american he should be thankful that they are supporting ukraine and then he also said that they are not he is not getting any chari charity charity basically this funds are being used to have a global security because right now as you, as you very, very well said when the war was started we were looking at it may be go to world war it didn't go to world war luckily but still who is in in right now on target ukraine yes as we said these, these girls are sitting with us you can see how many ukrainians are died how many young ukrainians have been killed who has killed it this is because of this war and i feel uh, americans are doing whatever best they can and as president biden said they are more interested to give them more weapon so that they can give them hands to fight against the evil absolutely so the question comes down to weapons military training and of course money mm -hmm. to help this conflict find a timely and hopefully peaceful resolution i have some questions about how this this invasion may come to an end um so i request once again uh, guests please don't go anywhere viewers is jang da ki ant ho sakda hai ki ek passe agar tusi afwahan nu mande ho ke vladimir putin de ant de naal e jang ant hundi hai ya kisi hor diplomatic shayad solution de naal eda you know see resolve dekh sakde hain no matter what jo ukrainians already suffer kar chuke hai us cheez de bare thodi ji hor jankari break to us par ब्रेक तो बाद एक बार फिर सारे स्वागत करें तुम वेख रहे हो प्रोग्राम अज का मुद्दा अज सू नवी रिपोर्टिंग ये दस दी है जो रशियन यूक्रेनियन वॉर के कुछ लेटेस्ट अपडेट्स ये है कि यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स के हूँ यूक्रेनियन मिलटरी यूक्रेनियन फाइटर्स आके ट्रेनिंग लैन गए यूनाइटिड स्टेट्स यू एस वैपनस के नाल वैपनरी के नाल एक होर चैप्टर असी कंसिडर कर सकते हैं किस तरह यू एस वैसटर्न पावरस वालों सपोर्ट दी जा रही है यूक्रेन में इस जंग दे इस कॉन्फ्लिक्ट बट नो डाउट भावें जिनी मर्जी सपोर्ट हो जो लॉसिज इस वेले वेखे गए हैं दे आर मॉडर्न हिस्टरीज एक धब्बा है ये मॉडर्न हिस्टरी ते साड़ी इस मॉडर्न सोसाइटी ते कि इस नवी सदी दे विच भी ए हो जे कॉन्फ्लिक्ट्स ए हो जी फाइटिंग वेखनी पै रही है इन्ने वड्डी गिनती दे विच लॉस ऑफ लाइफ at the displacement one of the largest displacements we've seen in modern times in cheezan nu discuss karan le ukraine to at the washington dc to sade guest aj sade nal jode ek bari fir in program de vich swagat karde ha um olga karina gurchan singh ji thank you so much once again for your time and for sharing your honest um insights about what's going on in this war almost a year has passed um you know both uh, olga you and karina put it uh, uh, as bluntly as possible while many wish that the rumors were true that are coming out of ukrainian intelligence outfits regarding putin's terminal cancer right now it is just that it is just a rumor but let's say um you know it were to be true what do you think if putin was no longer in the picture if he were to um you know die suddenly of a terminal illness um how does that change this conflict does russia um the russian military or the russian leadership continue do they have the resolve to keep this invasion going forward olga what do you think Uh, I believe that death of Putin or disappearing of Putin uh, won't resolve anything, because oh, wow. aside from Putin, 80 percent of population in Russia supports this conflict and wants to have to continue this war, uh, and that is the main reason. So, 
even if we talk about Putin and uh, we all need to understand that there is not only Putin. There are uh, some additional persons in its environment who wants to occupy that place. And it might be a very dangerous situation. Uh, no one knows uh, what will be the best. We all know here that we need to win this war. We need to protect and release our territories, and that is spirit. Uh, with Putin or without Putin, no one knows. Right. Um, Karina... But again... Right. Karina, how do you think, um, you know, if there is a uh, resolution to this conflict, everyone said, you know, it, it may resolve by the winter time. Things will be so difficult for the fighters with without power, without warm, um, you know, gear that the winter time will determine um, the end of this war. And obviously, winter is still um, ongoing, but we have come through many, many months of bitter cold, yet the Ukrainians are holding steady. Um, how do you feel that this conflict resolves itself, um, you know, uh, if there were to be some kind of a diplomatic uh, resolution? Yes, thank you. First of all, it will not resolve itself. As you mentioned, it has to involve lots of diplomacy, lots of um, innovative solutions. And the only uh, condition for the end of this conflict is the original borders, original territories of Ukraine of 1991, including uh, eastern or western or southern parts of Ukraine. Original borders will be the end of the war. And until then, Ukrainians will keep fighting and defending their own motherland. Um, Gurchenji, I know you've <laughs> shared with our viewers before as well um, on some of the things that you've personally done to support uh, the, the Ukrainians, whether it's um, the, the refugees that have come to the United States, um, having left their homeland or in other ways. Gurchenji, how else can we support Ukrainians for those folks who want to give Ukraine and its people um, anything they may need to make it through this conflict? Um, what do you, what can you share with our viewers on how they can help? Uh, before uh, I go ahead, uh, Ashmita, I, I would like to say about the American, from the American perspective, whether Putin is there or not there, as I, I agree with Olga and uh, Karina, the war will not stop. Why? Because uh, the Russians may ask for the, some boundaries which they wanted to take it, like Donbass or something, mm -hmm. and where Ukrainians are not ready to give it even an inch. So the war is continuously going on until or unless there will be a top diplomacy comes and then thing would be there. Now, your second question regarding supporting Ukrainian, Americans are with hearts supporting whatever way it is possible. As Zelensky said also, and he also very well said that each and every dollar which is being given to Ukrainian, they are using it very responsibly. They are not wasting it. They know it is somebody has done hard work and they are putting it. So Americans have put some funds to support them and they are also using it very carefully. Now, I feel as Biden administration is also looking at if more refugees are going to come over here. As I said, my personal is I love Ukraine. I've been 50 times over there. And I feel like that any Ukrainian's family who would like to come and join my home, they are welcome. And uh, that is one thing. And as, as I said, my colleague, you, Olga, who's sitting there, I've been calling her for the last six months to come and join me. But she said, no, Guru, I will not leave Ukraine. And I, I really proud to know her and uh, salute to you. 
Olga? Um, you know, it, 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 it must feel um, really good to hear that you do have the support um, from international, um, you know, uh, folks all over the world. But Olga, I'm sure you have some message that you want to give directly to our viewers. Um, you know, before we close out the program, um, any, clo any closing thoughts that you have about uh, what's transpired in the last year or how you feel this, um, this invasion will evolve in the days and months to come? Olga, we'll start with you. So as conclusion, first of all, I would like to express big appreciation to entire world, to every people in the world who support Ukraine, support Ukraine. And uh, another statement that I would like to spread throughout the globe is to believe in Ukraine, believe in Ukrainians. Uh, we are protecting a lot of rights of humanity. Uh, right of to be free, right to, to to live in your motherland, and uh, we are just example how it could be if you have crazy neighbor around you. So Ukraine is getting back balance, example of getting back balance between. Insecurity. Let's let's say insecurity. Insecure, secure world. And right now we are demonstrating how it works because since Second World War, uh, the world didn't know so massive wars uh, worldwide. Yes, there were local conflicts, but at the moment lots of countries are involved in our conflict. So. I would say that it might look like Third World War. So we are in center of it. Believe in Ukrainians. Um, and power, glory to Ukraine. Power, powerful words. Believe in Ukraine because you are absolutely at the center of this. Um, Karina, any closing thoughts from your end uh, about this conflict, how it started, where it's been, and how you think um, it may play out in the coming days? Yes, Olga, to follow up on your glory to Ukraine, I would like your viewers to always remember the answer to the hero's glory. All Ukrainians are heroes because they are heroically demonstrating how freedom and uh, human rights are important, not just only for Ukraine, but for the whole world. Literally, Ukraine means at the borderland, land at the border. So if this border is not protected through the people living on this border, through the people living across the border, Western communities, then the border will collapse and this may result in the uh, expansion of war activities beyond Ukraine. Therefore, Ukraine on its borders is supporting the other parts of the world. And Ukraine is seeking support and understanding yes. and further prayers towards the future victories of the original borderland of 1991. Thank you so much. Uh, Gurcharan Singhji, really quickly, any closing thoughts? You have your wonderful uh, friends, colleagues, former colleagues here with us today. You've always been a supporter of Ukraine on this show and outside of it. Um, uh, viewers, no, Janet, to see what you want to do, Gurcharanji. I think the uh, one more thing, Ashmita, uh, as they said, both of them, because uh, we can't trust Russians and media in Russia is totally banned. Yeah. Putin has said anybody even talk about war, he can be or she can be prison for 15 years. Yes. They have stopped Facebook and everything. So yes. whatever we are getting, we are getting rumors. We are not getting the right, right. thing we are looking at. But uh, once again, I would say in my in my language, ki a sade Punjabiyan pare badarne, and I would like to speak in their language, Salava Ukrainia, and they will say, Hero I am Slava. Hero I am Slava. <laughs> 
Thank you. Daya Kuyu. Thank you so much, yeah. Gurcharan Singh Ji, thank Karina you. Beasley, Olga Chiknikova. Thank you so, so much for joining us from Ukraine, from Washington, D.C. And a sobering moment to remind the world that this war is still going on. Whether you may not be in Ukraine does not mean that we can ignore it. Um, and we must stand in solidarity with the people of Ukraine as this conflict continues and pray for a speedy resolution. Once again, thank you so much. Have a good rest of your evening. Sat Srikal. Good evening. Thank you. Uh, viewers program the um ant pehle main sirf ehi kehna chahndi ha once again sade le united states which khas karke agar tusi um republican party or democratic party the elected officials di gal sunde ho eh ek political masla banya hoya hai badaj tusi aap sunya ukrainians to sunya jo ukraine de vich baithe hoye kiev de vich baithe hoye hai ki kis tarah eh sirf ek political issue nahi hai ga eh ek gate keeping da issue hai ukraine ek eho ji border um mulk ban chuke hai jo ke baaki europe nu shayad baaki duniya nu is jang to bacha ke is jang to um rok reha hai age is jang di failav to rok reha hai सो so, अगर तुम भी यूक्रेन सपोर्ट करना चाहते हो तो की कर सकते हो आप दे इलेक्टेड अफिशल के नाल एक बार फिर वो प्रैशर पा सकते हो कि यस मनी भी जाना चाहिए है मिलीटरी भी जानी चाहिए है एंड जिस तरह रिसेंटली रिपोर्ट हुआ है ट्रेनिंग भी उन मिलीटरी फाइटर्स की होनी चाहिए है जो कि रशियन फोर्सिज न पूरी दुनिया तो रोक के इस वेले बैठे हुए हैं सब कुछ आप द सैक्रीफाइस करके बैठे हुए हैं सो वंस अगेन इस यूक्रेनियन वॉर नु लैके सारी अपडेट्स दी तोड़ नाल प्रोवाइड करदे रहवांगे उस अखवाह नु लैके उस रूमर नु लैके के की व्लादिमीर पुतिन नु कैंसर हैगा कि ओदे दिन नंबर्ड हन इस चीज नु भी लैके असी तोड़ नाल सारी अपडेट्स पेश करदे रहवांगे बट आज दे प्रोग्राम दे विच अगर साडले या साडे गेस्ट दे कोई क्वेश्चंस कमेंट्स कंसर्न्स तुसी जरूर सानु लिख सकदे हो इन फॉर जस्ट ब्रॉडकास्टिंग.कॉम आशमिता एट जस्ट ब्रॉडकास्टिंग डॉट कॉम हूँ सानू भी दे इजाजत सत श्रीकाल